Bobby, Dak, and Alicia go for a walk in the dark forest. They see flowers, animals, waterfalls, and beautiful nature everywhere. The three friends see something strange in the forest. They realize it's a time machine. They go to the year 2119. There are buildings, but no, but no trees. Their friends see Garbert. Everywhere they look, they wonder what happened. They meet a robot named Felix and a robot bird flies. They follow the robot bird and the robot suddenly stops in an unremarkable space. Suddenly an elevator comes out of the ground and they go inside. Darkness surrounds them as the door closes. Are we? inquired the kids. You're in our secret base, answered Felix the robot. Why do you have a secret base? The children asked curiously. Because it's almost the end of the world. You must help us. The children took a couple of minutes to think. They looked around. Okay, we'll help you. But what's in that box? After opening the box, a tablet of image began to show a video of a person saying, if you are watching this, you are the last humans on earth that have not been wiped out by biological warfare. A million or so seeds are in this location. Do you know about the Doomsday Vault? asked Felix. No, what is it? replied Dak. Let's go and you'll find out, replied Felix. Then the robot flew them to an island in Noi. Here we are, said Felix. So open the door, asked Dak. We can't. We need a key, answered the robot. So where is the key? asked Bobby. We don't know where it is, but even if we knew, there is no keyhole, answered the robot. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a robotic voice says, Go to the coast and wait for high tide. When you whistle a happy tune, the narwhals will appear to help you. They have magical tusks that will help you with your quest. Felix teleports them to the coast where they see nothing. Alicia teaches them a happy tune and they begin to whistle. Just when they are about to give up because it has no effect, they notice bubbling rising to the surface of the water. Out of nowhere, they see 15 narrow tusks appearing out of the water, forming a circle. From the middle of the circle leaps out the most powerful marvel of them all. He swims through the air towards them. In a deep, dark voice, he startles them by saying, You have sung the song that has called us to your aid. I am your only chance to help save the Earth from the biological warfare that will destroy our planet. They all cheer. Felix teleports the narrow wall and the children back to the vault. When they reach the vault, radio waves come out of the narwhal's tusks, and the door opens slowly, and they walk inside the darkness. As soon as they enter, lights flicker on and the door slams shut behind them. They explore the inside and find valuable information on why and how the living things became extinct in the last decade due to biological warfare. After searching for what seems forever, Bobby shouts, Come here and see what I've found. He points to rows and rows of boxes of seeds, which were glowing from the inside. Here was stored all the seeds for all the plants and trees the world had ever seen. They tried to open one of the boxes, but they were impossible for the children to open. All they had discovered seemed hopeless. Wait, shot it back. The narwhal is magical. She can help us. Let's see if the narwhal can lock these boxes. Great idea, replied Alicia. That could work, said Bobby. So the three friends went to get the narwhal. Once they returned with the narwhal, they started whistling the tune that they had learned. Then, all of a sudden, before their eyes, the glowing boxes started to open. Wow! wow. They all said in amazement. Now, what will we do? asked Felix. Then Elisa replied, How about we take all the seeds and plant them? Great idea, but where? Where can we plant all of these seeds? Our land is filled with buildings and trash, said Bobby. I know, said Dad. Let's recycle all of the garbage that had been collected to make space for all the new trees and plants. How? asked Bobby. Felix can collect all of the garbage and teleport it to the recycling plants, Dad replied. Wonderful! What a great idea! What are we waiting for? Bobby shouted. Then just like that, with a flash, boom, whoosh. Felix teleported them all back, gathered the garbage, and sent it to be recycled. The land was ready for new seeds to be planted. And so they began, one tiny seed at a time. Bobby, Alicia, and Dak walked through the city to the new bare land where the garbage used to be. 
They each had a bag full of plants and tree seeds. Bobby dug holes while Alicia and Dak filled them with seeds. Then Felix poured magical water on the seeds and they all grew super tall. And birds were happy and singing. And then animals started coming. Suddenly there was a bright flash and they were at the time machine. Felix said, You have completed your mission. You may now return to the real world. Did you enjoy your first time in a virtual reality game? Wait, what? Were we in a video game, screamed Bobby. Yes, you were, said Felix. And in that second, Felix disappeared and the doors of the time machine closed. They were, ba- they were then back in the year of 2018. Bobby said, hey, we're back in 2018. This was the best game I've ever played. Liter- I literally saw the future of mankind.